well I was asked to do a sort of season video here and I'm just trying to explain some of the stuff and a few hints and tips on how to survive over the season um yeah so obviously the big main thing probably one of the big main things is your policy type and your whatever economy or arm plunder whatever you are so there's three different choices for each one I can show you the advanced economy on my farm in a second but I go for Pathfinder, it's probably going to be the one most viewers will go for if you're armed plunderer. The only person that should, well, Sentinel is just that you support other people. Again, you need to be quite strong to do that. And you're probably not going to want to do that against some of the big people you're going to go up against in Zone 2 and Zone 3. So yeah, <coughs> depending on what, what, um, yeah, depending on how strong your alliance is and stuff like that, then you'll probably have already been told what you probably should go for. The only people that should go for commander are the strongest people in the alliance because that allows their stats to be used whenever they're rallying. So in ours then I'll be sort of the three or four, maybe two, three, four top guys and then everybody joins their rallies then when you're looking to try and um, take gates and stuff like that. So I would recommend that only really goes to the top four depending on how strong your alliance is or whatever else. Um, I'll show you advanced economy obviously when I go on the farm but my main is arm plunder so that's the only one I can do so the majority of stuff I'm going to be showing you is probably what the majority is should be which is Pathfinder so <clears throat> you'll see how you um, so obviously each different section the each different type that you pick has points that you can get for doing stuff okay so Pathfinder is attacking other people's cities and, and plundering resources and then taking tiles okay so I'll go to the main screen and show you that. So if you have a farm, <laughs> this is probably the easiest way at the start um, to do this and, and get loads of the stuff to, to build things. So this is my farm I'm attacking. It's not nobody I don't know, so it's fine. Um, so that'll attack it. I'm going to go back on. I'll do all the healing and stuff there when I'm there, okay? But we should see. Obviously, I have nothing on my wall on my farm because I don't want to kill my own troops. I just want to steal all the stuff that's in there. Okay, so that'll come back. I'm going to go back into your city. And then look, we've gone up another box there. So that, that's an easy way when you're Pathfinder. Just to, um, you could hit other people as well if you want, obviously. Um, just at the start, though, everybody's trying to make friends and stuff like that. So it's probably easier just to do your farm if you have one. Um, and then obviously you use that stuff to open up slots then for your, so you'll need it for these things. Okay, you've seen I've already done a bit of work this morning, so I'm already on it, but all, every one of them would be a different amount of that prolagen stuff that you need. Okay, Prom probably get. All right, when you open these big ones then, you can put in your different freaking whatever they are, whatever they call them, what do they call these? Can't even remember, decrees, yeah. Um, obviously there's an event on at the minute as well because it's the start of the new season. Hold on, I need to move my video chat out of the way. So it is Operation Cosmic Cup. So you get these decoders, okay? Now, it doesn't matter what you put on this, it's random. Um, so anybody who thinks they have a special technique or anything, you're, you're wrong. <laughs> it's, completely, it's completely random. And I can't want to get back out of that, but anyway. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, where do we get these decrees from then? We get them from, you can either buy them, obviously, or you can... Um, you get them from events during the during the during the competition okay so if you click up here in the plus it'll show you where you get them so you can purchase bundles or obtain via the ultimate directive which is this you're going to get free ones when you've done these things um first you were quite easy for me and if you have epic and legendary decrees from last year and you don't mind spending a bit of talic just put each one on and you'll get all three of those top ones already um, so you get all the free ones. Well, I have only a couple left that I can get here, okay? And that'll that'll just come as your decree power goes up. All right. You have to open these first before you can actually buy the bundles. And then if you decide you want to buy the bundles, it's it's them. Um, if you got plenty last year, I, I don't really know why you want to do more. Although some of them are really 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 good. Like, um, I'll give you a look at some of mine just to show you what you can get. I mean, I by no means have them all. But yeah, I mean, obviously the legendary ones are better. So this one is move my thing again. So this is two extra pink recruits or purple recruits, whatever color you want to say they are, um, every day, every morning. Okay, this one is so when you attack a city, you can get more origin. Okay, and then this one is the one when you attack the gates and 
um, towers and stuff, you, you do more damage. So there was last year in Honor. Let's go to Season 3 and let's go to the Honor. Uh, Conquest of Honor. There was attack neutral buildings, yes. So it was doing dur so tech so taking away durability. So what that what that decree does, it doubles your doubles the doubles the amount of damage you do to take durability off, which means you can through these a lot quicker. Okay, I found I flew through this last year uh, or last season. Um, the only thing that took away from this build of things is the level thirteen demons, um, which was our last last time, which was which was brilliant actually. It was a lot of honor for it. Unfortunately, they put this consume iconic core in, which is the new research stuff you need for um, for analysis. Now, if you're unfortunate as me and you use a lot of this stuff to get your power to get something in it, I have none left. So that's going to be a struggle for me this season. But that's what that one is. Let's go through the rest of them just when we're doing this, so we're we're not going backwards and forwards all over the place. Next one is chain units, so it's level eight or above. Okay, and um, mass upgrade doesn't work. You have to just train so at the minute i'm training level eight okay so mass upgrade doesn't work for that so you can't train a load of t1s and then upgrade them to nine it doesn't work you have to just train t net t8s or t9s or t10s or whatever else but it has to be above t8s occupy seasonal tiles then so this is when you take tiles off the enemy you will find at the start we do a lot of this between our server five and our server we would trade them and um, backwards and forwards between the other alliances most people will do that as well so you'll get this one fairly easy to be fair Upgrade facilities, just the stuff you have to do, your immunity labs, your territories, you know what I mean? So yeah, you'll just get that as the season goes. Uh defeating enemies then should be should be easy enough to do. Um it's a war game after all. Um and you should get that one fairly handy. Um attack neutral buildings then is what I explained to you. So it's taking the durability off. So um killing the troops initially. So if you know everything has a garrison. So you don't get anything for killing the garrison on this one. It's only for taking durability off out of the tower or whatever. When you get into later stage, your lands will set up towers that you can attack and stuff. Or should do if they don't talk to your R4s and tell them to start doing it because it's a good way to get this one done. And then you'll set times the attacker when the durability is full and you get three attacks each. And then it just if you do that from the start of the season, you'll you'll max that pretty easily too. Increase dominion. Then it's just dominion is the power that you've got in this game. So it's taking tiles, building buildings. It's just basically doing all the season stuff. If you do all the season stuff, you will max this eventually. Okay. Yeah, and that, and that's it. Um, the only other one that was in there before was the demons. Um, so yeah, they've taken it out this time. Bullock things. Okay, so that explains that for you. Right. Attack and defense when you're in season. They've changed the rules for zone two and three, so I'll do a video when we get to zone two and three. Um, because they're, they're trying to create more fighting, basically. Okay, so this is zone one that you start off on. There'll be whatever, whatever, um, this will go by whatever server you're on, and you would have seen at the start who you're in with. Okay, then you go through the gates, and then you're in the zone two. Oh, you go through the gates, and then you're in the zone two, and this is all tiled. Okay, so it's all tile fight. When you're in here though, and you're not shielded, everybody that's in zone two can hit you. Okay. So we have, we have two problems with this. You really only want to be in there shielded, but apparently there's new seals for this zone and they're limited. Okay, so th this is gonna be a learning curve for all of us. But you don't want to be in here not shielded unless you don't have idle troops. Okay, and the reason why we say that is because if you don't have anything on your wall, then there's a sneaky gets that always go around with like three troops on a titan to attack you because even though you're stronger than them if you don't have something on your wall then they will kill your idols and, and, and damage your idols and put them in the hospital then you have to spend loads of resources to, to heal all those just for the sake of some twat sending you a titan with three troops on it um, because they break your wall if you don't have anything on here so in, in zone one i recommend you always have your strongest titan on your wall because there's probably nobody going to be in there that isn't your friend that isn't going to hit you that is going to hit you it's only going to be a twat a troll from another server that's joined in to be a dick and yeah and, and they're going to do stupid things like send a titan with three things on you so when you're in zone one so again zone one is the place that you land when you first start okay that's like a normal map Okay, where your titans can sit outside, so there's only the, the areas that are tiled in that you have to attack tiles and stuff, for your towers and your gates and whatever else, okay? But all the rest of the map is normal, your titans can sit on it, whatever else, okay? Um, so when you're in here, I would say put your strongest titan on your wall, just to be safe, okay? Obviously your alliance is going to be building stuff, so you want to help a lot as much as you can, because the quicker you build, the more dominion you get. Your influence rankings up here, blah, blah, blah leads to better rewards and stuff throughout the season but that's the basics on that taking tiles in where am i 
I'm actually in a tell at the minute. I was trying to get towards the two here. You know, somebody else has started to build towards it because I didn't friggin' I wasn't paying attention. Um, I want to try and get one of these red level twos. See if I can take it. And because obviously with no resistance yet, I believe it's not opening now until you complete this first chapter. I'm presuming it's this chapter and not the S3 chapter, but we'll tell you that when it comes to it. Um, because obviously there's different chapters in here as well for your more store moments, okay? So these chapters and then that opens up stuff here. But I'm looking to see, and I think it says the best of my ability if i try to build on this you see i can't do my immunity lab so more so it is more storm armors chapter one right okay so we can't build our immunity lab until this finishes in 12 hours so we can't build any immunity labs until tonight okay um i actually thought it might have been the the this chapter you know the individual chapters that you have to do all the stuff but it doesn't seem to be so yes it's the main one um what else then so right <sighs> obviously when you go to zoo 2 and stuff like that you want to be able to hide your best troops so i'll give you my tips right so you've always got sort of a shitty titan that's at the end okay you'll have your main if you're armed plunder your main's usually your central that's where all your best troops are your best setup yeah so you usually have one or two then that aren't great so what i would do is i hide troops on them and never put them on my wall so if i'm in zone 2 i'm gonna i would change that all you don't know how to change it. I'll see if I've got a Titan at home just so I can show you how to do it. I do have one. Who is it? Let me see. It's my infantry. Okay, so this one. So you just click on it and then you can change it to whatever troop type you want. Um, Obviously, if you're if it's what you want that's already on it, you have auto assign on and it'll do it. But what I would do here is I'll show you why I don't have too many of my... So I would put my T10s or my T9 pluses on there and hide them um because they cost a fortune to heal so if somebody comes in and they kill some of them on you it's a nightmare do you know what i mean um so there you go <coughs> so I'll do that um what i've been working on too then as well is the defensive titan now it's probably not going to be i don't know if many years will have this but it's, it's a fifth titan that it does it can't attack outside the city but it does it, it's an actual defend right so i'm trying to open this up so i can hide a lot of my t10 t9 pluses in there Okay, so when I open this up, there you can see, and, and you get extra, you, you can get a little more troops on these as well. I'll show you where that is and how you get that. You probably, so the first one is Battle Sense City Wall. So when you eventually get up to here, Defensive Army, in it. Okay, so you've got to do all this stuff first, obviously. To get to it, when you get Defensive Army, then it opens up your, opens up your Titan in here. Okay. And you can do all the stuff in it and then obviously you open up you know like you do with every titan you open up the hero slots and then every time you put a hero slot on you can put more troops in it so that's where i'll be hiding a lot of my troops so if you've already that done that's a brilliant place if you've already done you will know it's a brilliant place to hide troops if you're close to getting it it might not be a bad idea to push through for it for the season just so you can hide troops when you get into zone one and two because i don't know how these shields are going to work how limited they are there might be a serious amount of bouncing backwards and forwards from zone one um but yeah, we're, we're, that, that's the newest, that's the new thing for the season 3.5, if you want to call it. That's changed from season 3. So yeah, again, I'll, I'll do an R video when we get through into zone 2, on zone 2 stuff and tiles and tile fighting and stuff like that, because it's it's hard to show you here. Okay. But, and I think they've changed the rules as well for the ratio. It used to be if you attacked the tile and the other person owned it, you lost lots, you, you, you lots of deaths. They've apparently change that so again what they're trying to create is more fighting when we get into zone two and zone three okay but again that if you're not strong you're going to get your ass kicked in there um especially if there's not enough shields to go around or you, you forget the move you know what i mean so you need to be prepared for it so again the problem here is leaving a titan on your wall so what you can do is to stop those silly wee attacks but then you're going to get attacked if you're there so you fall asleep so you don't you, you know it's a six of one half a dozen of the other uh if you don't have anything on your wall, then twats are going to attack you with three men titans. If you do, then somebody bigger is going to want to kill your troops to get the troops and the, the honor points. Okay, so really you don't want to be in zone two and three without a shield. Um, unless we can get to it, unless your, your alliance gets to an area and controls it and stuff like that. And it's too far away and then you can get people to defend you and stuff. But I can't really show you that until we get into the next season. But that's the basics on that. Um again i'll pause this video and i'll jump over to my other one and explain the advanced economies for you then as well but 
Majority is probably going to be Pathfinder. I've showed you how to do a wee couple of cheats there on your Pathfinder to get you up. Again, taking tiles. <coughs> it's a Pathfinder one. Okay, so just take a little knot. If you've got spur, if you've got spur, um, you've got spur fuel on your main. Just, just take a little flipping knot, knot tiles. You know what I mean? On this block, because I've been talking to you, this guy's went and took them to level twos. So I'm back to waiting again then. Um, I'll just I'll, I'll go on out and just do it. But again, taking these tiles gets me gets me my arm plunderer points for the other thing. So I can just take them and dump them. You know, um, that's just the way it is. So I have to do it. All right. So we'll pause this now and go to advanced economy and show you the three different things there. Not not that I know them well because I never really use them, but I'll show you the main one. Okay, two seconds. Okay, so that's us jumped over, obviously. Um, so this this city of mine is advanced economy now. Obviously, we know we just attacked ourselves a couple of times there. I mean, I'm not gonna. I'll probably just stop the burning, so I don't, I'm not gonna burn out and move away. But I will be attacking myself quite quite a bit more often here. Obviously, I'll need to heal my troops. Probably, I don't. I'm not gonna fill my um, hospital anyway, so I'll not do that because it's pointless because they're only gonna get done again. But um, yeah. So well, that's where is my policy building here in this one? Don't use this city that much, so where is it? <laughs> Stay with me. Where is my policy villain? That it? it is. There we go. Okay, so I haven't I haven't picked this one yet, so you can get to see this. Obviously, then this is uh, advanced economy. So you have your huntsman. Ecologist and mobilizer. I you, you're gonna to have to go into these and read them. The, look, if you click on the eye, you'll get the description of what it does. What I seem to see everybody doing is this one because you get the wee rings to summon the level eights, and you can give people gifts and stuff. Um. So yeah, I, I would recommend if you're advanced economy and you're in your your in your lands, this is the best way to help them because you will get the wee summon rings for the level eight zaninators, and they give astra essence and fusion essence, which is sorely needed by everybody in your lance and you will be the favorite person in your lance as well because you keep doing them if you're advanced economy okay so that's the oh shit, no, that's in the I said I wasn't going to do it but it's just it's just habit um yeah so that's really it guys just um again I'll do you another video when we're zone two zone three but at the minute keep your keep your strongest titan on the wall now I I don't have mine on here now at the minute on this one because I'm attacking myself um, but just whenever I'm done, I'll put my strongest titan on the wall there, which is that one. Okay? You just know how to do that. Just just touch the one at the bottom. Puts it on. Takes it off. Puts it on. Takes it off. Yep. Yeah. Okay? Now, again, this is only for zone one. to stop twats. Three, three man titan attacking you. Alright, if there's any questions or anything, stick it underneath the video as usual. And I'll try to get back to it. If anybody else wants to add anything as well, stick it underneath the thing. Or when I put it, for my guys, especially in server five, in AOA, You'll talk away about it on the next where I put the video and um, give your own ideas because again This is just me spouting, you know and trying to help um, and trying to give you hints and tips that we picked up in the season before and that's it All right guys have a great day. Thanks. Bye